fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today's video, an unboxing of a ginormous Japanese box filter. That's right folks, ginormous Japanese box filter. Okay, so this was the biggest filter I found in Japan that I could fit in my suitcase. It was about 50 US dollars, which is a lot of money for a box filter, but I thought it was pretty cool. I can make a video about it. And um, you guys probably don't get to see them, especially in the United States and Canada and anywhere other than the Far East, because that's where they keep them. Can you say the Far East? Is that politically correct? Wait a minute, I don't really care. Okay, folks, we're gonna open this up and talk about it, but before we do that, if you could do me a favor, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Gently boop the notification bell after you subscribe. Check out my website, Michael's Fish Room, where you can buy all the guppies and pluckos you see in the fish room. Now, I talk about Michael's Fish Room a lot, and yet I still get questions and videos. Do you sell fish? How much is this? Where can I see all the fish you sell? So, Michael's Fish Room, Dot com for all that stuff. If you have questions, you can leave them in the comments down below about this video or anything I talk about. And uh, yeah, that's that. So grab a snack and a beverage and stand by for the epic unboxing. All right, fishy folks, here we go. I have a razor blade. Be very careful, don't cut yourself. And uh, the whole thing is in Japanese. Now I bought this um, in Tokyo and Shinjuku. I will put a link to the store that I bought it at so you can see there was a uh, employee there that spoke pretty good English. We were able to communicate quite well. He had a lot of uh, um, information for questions that I asked and he said this is the biggest one they sell. Um, I think he said it was good for up to, if I remember correctly, about a 75 gallon tank. Now again, everything on the box is in Japanese and I could use Google Translate, I can read some of it, I could bring it to my Japanese friends, but it's so much better if I do this and don't know what the hell I'm doing. Yeah, pretty much everything's in Japanese. All right, so there's, there are the instructions. Here are the lift tubes. I'll show you that in a second. Put that aside. So here's the filter. I mean, look how big it is, right? Like. Here's my hand, and here's how big it is. It is huge. Uh, okay. I also think, I asked for one that doesn't come with carbon, and I think this is that one. So, I'm gonna cut the bag, just to make it easier. I thought it'd be easier. Here on Michael's Fish Room, we like to struggle. Okay, there we go. Now, I really only have two choices for tanks to put this in. Chewy's tank, which coincidentally, the uh, Marineland hang-on back filter that I was given to test caught fire. There's a link right here for that video. Um, and uh, I need an extra filter. I don't really need an extra filter. The ginormous sponge in there is, is fine, plus the water changes. But I think that's where I'm gonna put it because it makes it easy to film and see and test. All right, I'm getting communications on the watch. So this looks like it goes like that. All right, let's, let's open this thing without breaking it. What do you think? No? Really nice if I had instructions. There we go. Just gotta be a little bit smarter than the plastic, I think. I said that, but I can't get it open. All right, money on if I break it. I'm gonna say, there's about a 30% chance I break it taking it apart, because I don't know how to take it apart. I know you guys are like, oh, just do this, but I can't hear you. I think you have to, like, this is embarrassing. Maybe I won't take it apart. Maybe just tight, because it's new. Maybe I need a tool. I know I'm gonna break it with a tool. Ah, I think I got it. I think I see what I have to do. No, no. I, I mean, like, I know what I have to do, I just can't do it. I know you guys are laughing your asses off because I am inside, because this is embarrassing as you know what. There we go. Yep, just as I thought. Okay. Come on. Okay. 
No. 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 How much fun is this for you? There we go. All right, there's the base. And there's the sponge, right? I guess it's a sponge. It's the typical um, Japanese style. It's like folded around this frame. And I think you can buy replacements of these, which I may buy the next time I'm there. You could probably stuff this thing with, uh, it doesn't have rocks. Sorry, something shiny. I wonder if it'll sink without rocks. Usually there's rocks in there, but yeah, that's how we're gonna supercharge it by putting lava rock in there if it doesn't sink. All right, right now in the comments down below, let me know if you think it's going to sink, right? I think it's going to sink. I don't think it's going to sink and we'll see. All right, so this is pretty self-explanatory. It's got the air stone for the uh, airline right there. All right, put that on. Put this on. Hey, I didn't break it. That's so far. That's good. It's still early though. Okay. Now we have this little thing, and then we have oh, like a lift tube, and then a uh, well, hoozy watsy. I like that. That's the official term is hoozy watsy. All right. There we go. It's pretty cool looking too. Now, I know a lot of people don't like filters or sponge filters or box filters because they're ugly, but you know, I'm okay with it. I think this is technically a box filter that identifies as a sponge filter. <laughs> Sorry. Snowflakes, are you melting? Okay, here we go, folks. Refill your snack and beverage. I'm gonna go ahead and install it in Chewy's tank, show you it running, and then uh, if we have to sink it, I'll have to add some lava rock, but then I'm gonna let it run for a few hours and see if it cleans up and sucks. <sighs> debris near it and, and picks it up so stand by all right fishy folks here we are at my super red dragon flower horn tank chewy and uh, it's a 75 gallon tank uh, I have that ginormous sponge filter that I also got uh, not in Japan I got it actually out on the west coast when I was visiting my friend Barbara and we went to visit a fish store I'll put a link to that fish store tour um, as well you know in the uh, info side and down below anyway so that's the only filtration currently in this tank there was a marine land pro 450 but it caught fire on sunday and uh yeah i'm sending it actually back to them today they've been their customer service has been spectacular all right folks here we go i'm going to uh drop this in and see if it sinks chewy don't eat me Nope, I didn't think it would to be honest. So if you were right, congrats. If you were wrong, haha. -ha. You can see there's some debris. I haven't actually cleaned Chewy's tank um, since Sunday. It is now Thursday. So there's, there's a little bit of uneaten food. Uh, apparently I overfed one day, I guess. And some snail crap, not crap, snail leftovers from when I feed them stale. So I'm gonna go ahead, take that apart, add some lava rock, stand by. All right, fishy folks, lava rock wasn't the best choice. I looked at the directions uh, like they were Ikea directions and read the pictures and it basically said to put little stones on the bottom. I had those stones in the fish room uh, and that's what I added. So it, it really does a nice job weighing it down. It also will increase the beneficial bacteria surface area as the beneficial bacteria will stick to that gravel. Not as porous as um, lava rock, but still will do a pretty decent job of adding beneficial bacteria if I needed it. All right, fishy folks, I have the airline already attached. I'm gonna turn the air on and we'll see how it works. And there it is. Now, I put the extension tube up. I don't know if she was gonna like that flow, but we'll see. So I put the extension tube up. What the extension tube does is create a longer lift period for the air bubble, which potentially will uh, make the suction that it's causing greater. 
don't know, I'm not an engineer, actually I'm not a physicist, that's probably physics, but uh, I don't know at what length it makes a difference. You know, if I lower it three inches, is there gonna be a tremendous difference? Personally, in my opinion, I don't think so, but again, not a physicist, just a dumb fat guy with a camera. All right, guys, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna let this, uh, this filter run for a few hours, and when I come back, I'll, you know, we'll take a look at the, there's the bottom of the tank now, there's Chewy, there's my Millennium Falcon that my buddy Martin gave me. There's Chewy's mirror that I decided to leave in. Uh, there's the ginormous sponge filter and all my fish food and stuff. All right, I mean, he's chilling. We'll see how he acts, we'll see how he looks when I get back. And um, we'll come back, like I said, in a few hours. For you, it'll be in a second, and see how it works. Stem all right, fishy folks, we are back. It is, I don't know, maybe 10 hours later. I didn't uh, get down as soon as I wanted. You can see the, the filter moved itself. I guess the air from uh, is too powerful. You can see, let me show you this here. So if you look up there, the, uh, the outflow, I guess, is pushed it all the way into that other filter. So I'm actually gonna change that because I, I'd rather those filters be in opposite sides of the tank, obviously. Um, but if we look at the debris on the bottom of the tank, um, it, it cleaned up a lot of it. Uh, I don't know if you can see in detail because I'm using a wide angle lens to show you more of the tank, but uh, there's quite a bit of debris inside on the white filter material. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I, I knew I would be, uh, I have the exact same filter in a smaller size, so I'm going to try to find a link on Amazon uh, for you. Usually when I find a link though, it's it's like, uh, you know, you buy it today and you'll have it sometime in mid-2020 because it ships from China on the slow boat. That's right folks, another China joke. If it bothers you, unsubscribe. Anyway, that, uh, that does it for this Japanese box filter. I guess it's a box filter. That's probably how you would have to classify it. This Japanese box filter uh, unboxing and review. Hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com. Also, please, please, please check out uh, Michael's Eats, my new cooking channel. And uh, we'll see you soon. Have a great day. Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be an unboxing of a Japanese box filter. A ginormous Japanese box filter. In fact, it's the biggest one I could find when I was in Japan that I could fit in my suitcase. Um, so do me a favor, if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing to the channel. And when you do, make sure you smash the subscription button. No, you don't want to smash it. You want to boop the subscription button. Not the sub Holy Jesus. And what the extension tube does is it increases the speed and length of the bubble. That's not true. Um, I'm going to try to find a link on Amazon in case you're interested in these filters. I've, I've, every now and again I see them, but usually they're, you know, um, 